Mabuha, Kamustika, welcome, how are you? This is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. We're going to talk about age gap, one for the ages, insights into a large age gap. And some people consider a large age gap 10 years, some probably 7 or 8 years. So um, maybe I should clarify what I have in mind here. Uh, so let's do that. I hadn't thought about that, but... I would say, in my mind, we're talking, you know, 20 years or more. Uh, that would be considered, I think, universally a large age gap. Many men are interested in a younger woman, um, 20 to 30 years younger. There's nothing abnormal or unusual about that. And so, um, since I, I have an age gap of uh, 27 years, um, that's something I think I, I can comment on in, in three years of marriage. And, and by the way, uh, I welcome subscribers to this channel. It's about uh, committed marital love to uh, a Filipina. And uh, I know some people are, are watching videos on, on singleness. And uh, of course, you have to be single if you're going to be looking to marry a Filipina. And I, you know, I was single a long time. I do care about single people. I really do. And I think one of the best things I can do to help them, whether they're younger or older, is to encourage them to marry. And uh, in my situation, being older, I found myself marrying a younger Filipina. Otherwise, I don't think I would have been able to marry. So, you know, to me, this isn't... I think that one of the best things you can do as a single person to deal with your singleness is to try to get married. I don't think that's running away from something. I think it's running to something, and that would be God's will for most of us, which is marriage. So we're going to talk about an a age gap, one for the ages. So men have always wanted, uh, preferred, at least a younger wife, and that will never change. Um, as women get older, studies have found they find themselves attracted to men the same age as they are, whereas men, on the other hand, remain kind of fixated on uh, the attractiveness of a woman in her 20s, I think around 25 to nail it down, and uh, that doesn't change. Um, now, marrying a younger woman is certainly no guarantee of marital success. It, it always is going to come down to, you know, how you treat her, how you talk to her, tone of voice, how you listen to her, you know, how you... Uh, how you, uh, you know, care for her and, you know, treat her well. You know, put her needs and wants and desires above your own and protect her and provide for her. That's what, it, that's what it's going to come down to. So um, it was not my goal as I went through 30 years of singleness to marry a younger woman. That's just how it turned out. Now, unlike American dating sites, Filipinas, not all of them, but many Filipinas actually want an older man. They desire and prefer an older man. I know this can be frustrating to some younger men who are looking at Filipinas and they say, all these women just want older guys. Well, that's generally true. But I do have a video out right now called um, Can a Young Man Find Love in the Philippines? And I know some that have and some will always continue to. So I would encourage, you know, if you haven't heard that or watched that video to, to see that one. Now, uh, my wife's age bracket she was looking for was 30 to 55. She was 26, yes, 26 at that time. And so her age gap was pretty, pretty um, uh, sensible, I guess, 30 to 55. She didn't say 20 to 80. I'm not saying there's something insincere uh, about that. Um, I just felt better that, that she seemed a little bit more realistic, for lack of a better word, in what she was looking for. An older man, now for a younger Filipina, uh, is seen as more mature, not going to be playing games, more stable, better provider, and more faithful. He's been through life more, and so he's picked up more knowledge and more experience and more wisdom through being an older man. Now, a younger Filipina all the experiences I had talking to a handful of them beforehand was that they're very comfortable talking to older 
foreigners, and um, it's just it's just no big deal. That kind of surprised me when I when I started this process. Uh, very cheerful, very comfortable. I was a nervous one, you know, not them. So also a Filipina. If you marry a younger Filipina, she's probably not going to want you to act like you are a younger man unless you are a younger man. But if you're not a younger man, you know, she's not going to want you to pretend that you are, to act that you are, uh, to do things that a younger guy would do just to impress her. That's, that's not what she wants you to do. Um, now, she, she doesn't want you to dress like you're old. She, she will want you to dress nice. She wants a mature guy. She might try to change some of the clothes you wear um, I would recommend really thinking about letting her do that as far as your appearance. You know, maybe she um, has some ideas about your hair. <laughs> For some of us, that could be a big deal. For some of us, maybe not. But um, she's going to want you to look nice, uh, not necessarily young. She's not going to do a total makeover of you, uh, but just feel glad that you don't have to talk or act or dress like you're younger. Um, she doesn't want you to do that, and that's comforting. Now, benefits of being married to a younger Filipina. Uh, generally, yes, uh, sex is one thing that a man wants to marry if he could, if he dares to, if he has opportunity to do. Uh, marry, uh, marry a younger woman um, because of the uh, likelihood of, of extending his his uh, sexual intimacy later in his life and there's absolutely nothing wrong with with wanting that so um, you know that's just kind of goes without saying um, that's a good thing you know and you have to be able to to please her you have to be able to uh, satisfy her um, this is also just life just the way it is and um, you know, I, I think you should, you should be able to do that uh, for her. Another benefit is that um, since she's younger, she's going to be able to work uh, longer. Now, at this time, we don't have a child. Uh, we are going to make a, a second run at fertility uh, since I'm not able to do that right now. And, of course, I'm not getting any younger, but that's, that's another story that we're going to try if we don't have a child, my wife, if she likes working, and I assume she will be able to work a long time if she wants to, um, she's going to be able to help us. Now, I do have a, a 401k and, and already cashed the pension out due to the company getting getting spun off. And um, I still plan on working, you know, as long as I can. But when I can't work anymore, there's a good chance my wife will be able to and that means, you know, she might be able to put me on her insurance, at least for a while. It may be that when a guy turns 70, he has no choice but to go on Medicare or Medicaid. I, I always get those mixed up. But my wife, yeah, if she wants to, she could still work and, and provide for us in a way that, you know, right now I'm doing for us uh, to a high degree. Another benefit marrying a younger woman is um, she's likely to be healthy. My wife doesn't take any uh, medications. She didn't even like to take vitamins or anything like that. I think she, maybe she felt that these pills were all the same. And uh, I've tried to show her, since I, I take a lot of vitamins, why I take them and uh, that it's, it's good. I don't want to get into whether all vitamin you can get everything from food or not. I, I don't want to get into that. But my point is she's healthy. She doesn't take any meds. She prefer not to take any meds, and um, you know, don't have to spend money on on health care for her. She does ha have health insurance for me, that's for sure. But she really doesn't have to use it because she's younger and healthier. Another advantage is energy to do things that are needed. Um, you know, my wife works forty to sixty hours a week, depending on if she has something she wants to. Uh, save for. The other day she uh, bought something uh, that cost a certain amount of money and uh, she's got a two-year plan to pay it off. It's not her car. That's a whole 
different thing, but she likes to get things paid off as soon as possible, which is great. She doesn't want to have debt, but she doesn't say, hey, hon, can I borrow uh, several thousand dollars for something? You know, she goes out and, and earns it. She asks me, you know, hon, can I, can I buy this? And I always say yes. And uh, she goes out and earns it, and she's very responsible, and she was before. It reminds me of the saying, you know, faithful in little, faithful in much. She was faithful with what she made in the Philippines, providing for, you know, parents and siblings. She's transitioned right here into the United States with the same mindset, even though she makes a lot more. Um, she's still very, very faithful with much, just like she may have been with little. So that's another side benefit. But she has a lot of energy. You know, she'll work 12 hours. She'll come home hour and a half late because she went to a couple grocery stores. She'll come home. She'll start cooking for for dinner if it's not too late. Prepare the food. You know, I'll try to come up and do the dishes. Um, but she has all that energy, you know. Maybe she'll clean something or organize something after that. You know, hop in bed, look on her phone, and and just nothing. No no complaints. She she doesn't seem tired. She's just a hardworking Filipina, and uh, and she's younger. And it's just a it's just a wonderful thing, you know, to 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 have a younger wife. A um, lot of energy, which means she has more energy to have fun. And um, now the flip side is I don't always have that kind of energy, so. I have to learn to pace myself and, and make sure I, <clears throat> I get enough rest. So, um, yeah, it's a great thing. Now, any negatives, any potential negatives for having a younger wife? Well, um, one of these I, I think has to do with the, the first uh, positive I mentioned, and that was, you know, uh, sexual intimacy. Um, she's younger, a lot younger perhaps. That means that you're a lot older perhaps. And you're, you know, I don't know when, I suppose it's different with each person and how healthy they are. And, but at some point, sad to say, um, you know, things aren't going to work like they, they used to. And it's just a pathetic part of, of getting older. And I know most of us guys probably put more emphasis on declining that way as we get older than probably we should. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it's a tough deal. But um, you know, having a younger wife, uh, you know, be good to her. You know, she'll be she'll be good to you. Um, but you know, just know that, and she needs to know too that one of these days, you know, it's not going to be what what it is now. And that's just a potential negative. Uh, but hopefully, you've built so much intimacy and love that. Um, you know, that just sustains your relationship. Um, I really had trouble thinking of many real negatives, potential negatives. Well, people always say, um, well, can you, can you trust her? You know, she's going to be around younger American men who you know, maybe have more energy or whatever, um, you know, and will this be something that causes her to look the other way? And I don't think so. I think if you've married somebody that's not going to leave you in the Philippines, she's not going to leave you in the United States, again, don't take her for granted. Um, you got to keep dating her, going out on dates. You keep got to keep doing the same things that won her over in the first place, uh, showing her that she's number one. Um, you can't just assume that, that she's, I mean, you should assume, I guess, that she's going to be devoted to you and dedicated to you. But you can't take her for granted. You can't mistreat her. Um, you know, she needs to know that she's number one to you, you know, above all other women. And that includes, you know, relatives, family. You know, she's number one. You got to trust her that she's not going to, you know, fall for some other guy. And, you know, don't accuse her of it. Don't threaten her to not do that. Just love her. Take good care of her. And um, if you marry the right Filipina, then you have really nothing to worry about. So other than just trusting her and if, you know, well, if you could get into the visa, the green card sort of thing. Um, well, I don't know. I just, uh, again, um, there are Filipinas that aren't like that. Try to marry somebody that's, 
got a little bit of age, so to speak, on him. 25 would be a good place to start because she's probably worked for a while and she's probably learned to be responsible and unselfish and she's going to be more mature uh, than somebody, let's say, 18, 19, 20, 21 years old. And, um, you know, that's just those sorts of things and the things you talk about, you know, priorities, uh, make, make a lot of difference. But, yeah, you can marry a younger Filipina and she's not going to consider the age difference any big deal at all. So you have to make sure that you don't uh, make her think that it's a big deal either. So, um, you know, it's up to you to decide if, if other people's jealousy and gossip and criticism will be a negative uh, because there will be some talk behind your back and, you know, people making smart aleck comments and, you know, just uh, try not to worry about it. It's just probably out of jealousy that, that you did something they may have wanted to do but didn't. And, um, you know, they'll respect that you went out and got what you wanted and they'll probably be jealous about that. So if somebody asks, you know, that my wife doesn't know well, asks me my age, she just says, why don't you ask him? You know, we work at the same place. So, you know, probably most people know right now that, that we're married and uh, nobody seems to have a problem with it, even though I'm a lot older than her. It's just, it's just not an issue, not even at work, not at church, not anywhere. Um, I've, I've introduced my wife to all the important people in, in my life, uh, so I'm not ashamed of her that she's younger. You know, my doctors, you know, friends, pastor, financial advisor, family, other people, and, and I've never heard any negative talk whatsoever. When I first took her to the dentist, she made the dental assistant that she liked some Filipino food dish and brought it over. And, you know, that's just the type of thing that, that she does. And <laughs> she's just a very likable woman. Um, I have a series that I should release right after I release this video on uh, how to earn the respect of a Filipina. Because, again, the age doesn't matter. If you treat her right, it could be a 30, 40 year age group, age gap rather, and it's, it's just not going to matter um, if you treat her right. And I want you to learn things from these videos on how to treat a Filipina right. Um, I just, from, you know, from my, own, my own experience, I, I just think of my wife as my wife. Yeah, early on, you know, I was thinking, well, I wonder what people are thinking when they see us together. You know, they've seen her pictures and now they see her in real life, and, eh, you know, it's been pretty unremarkable. I haven't heard any gossip, you know. Part of that is because, yeah, she's young, but they see how hard she works. They see, see the way she dresses me. They see the food she makes for me. Um, she's just a, a remarkable person. Uh, she's the same person she was in the Philippines, and I, I do pray that people can find a woman like this and, and maybe uh, you watch enough of these videos you'll you can pick up on some things to to look for to find a good mature Filipina it's just been nothing but but good for me now something that invariably comes up in a situation like this large age gap is what could you two possibly have in common well my response to that is um, if you don't have a lot in common now is your chance as husband and wife to develop things in common, find things that you like to do. Maybe that neither one of us, neither one of you do, but, you know, let's try this together. For us, as I've said before, we like to travel. I should clarify that. My wife likes to travel. I never did before. I like to do it now, but it was never a goal of mine because when I was single, I didn't want to go anywhere by myself. One, it was depressing, and two, I didn't want to share a good moment like that by myself. You know, I wanted to share that with somebody else. So now when we travel together, you know, Philippines, Branson, Missouri, we're going to the Philippines again, you know, that's good. I like that. And we even think about over the next five or ten years, places we, we might want to go. And, and uh, it just makes my life more full to be able to experience different countries, different you know cities, different experiences, I never would have done 
if I hadn't married a Filipina. So, um, yeah, commonality, no big deal. Just decide to, to make some things you know, in common for yourselves to do uh, so that your life is more interesting. We both like music, and I like listening to Filipino songs, Filipino love songs, and they have some really outstanding singers. Must be all that karaoke that they, they do to practice with, but you know, male and f especially female singers, they got some really good ones in the Philippines, and my wife always shares her top Philippine uh, performers with me, and we watch them, and, and we enjoy that. Now and then we'll watch TV together, like uh, a love story or a, a mystery movie. Um, my wife likes those, so sometimes she'll say, "Hun, come over here and you know get on a sofa with her and and watch a show," and um, and that's good. You know, you think it's a small thing, but if I refuse that, that's a bad thing. If I go and watch a movie with her, you know, that's a good thing. Now, she's gone to sporting events with me, and, um, and uh, I'm hoping she will be able to learn more about football. She understands touchdown and, and six points. That's about it for now. Um, but don't be ashamed to, to bring a younger Filipina to places that you like to go. In other words, don't stop doing things you like just because now people will see you with this younger woman and they'll have all these thoughts about you know why you're doing that and it really it really shouldn't matter to you. The Filipina is fully aware of the dynamics in place even though I think in general Filipinas don't think very far ahead just the nature of you know having to think one day at a time you know to survive I, I, I think that they are fully aware, though, of the dynamics that if you're a lot older, you're going to die sooner. She might have to take care of you for a while. Filipinas are known for being very good caretakers. I do not think this means that every time a Filipina, younger Filipina, wants to marry an older foreigner, that she's after his money. I, I wish all the people like me that married a, a younger Filipina that know that she didn't do it for that reason. She wants an, an older, more mature guy, somebody that, you know, isn't out chasing dreams. He's just out there to earn a living for her and, and take care of her. Um, I wish you would all chime in here and say, yeah, they're not all scammers, you know, and sometimes age is just a number. And yeah, she knows when you get older, uh, she'll still be relatively young or middle-aged and things will change for you, but Filipinas respect their elders in the Philippines, and um, if you treat her right, I just, I don't think there's much chance, um, you know, that, that she's going to uh, turn on you when you get older. I think Filipinas are, are shrewd enough to know what's coming down the line. So your focus should be, when you have a younger wife, the focus same as if you had a wife your own age. doesn't change a thing. You treat her the same. You just focus on your role as provider, protector, spiritual leader. I have you know, videos coming out, if they're not out already, um, that address those things because I want you to be a good husband. So major in those things, and they'll become even more important later in life. I have absolutely no regrets marrying a younger woman it has been everything I hoped for, and now she's not my younger wife, she's my wife. That's just how I see her now. She is my wife. So you absolutely can marry a younger woman in the Philippines. Just learn to be a great husband, be a one-woman man, unselfish, forgiving. Um, give up your life for her, like the Bible says in Ephesians 5. Cherish her. Enjoy your health and wealth with your younger love beyond the sea.